At least five predominantly black churches have been set on fire in the last week alone. In fact, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, as many as six churches have been set on fire recently, and three of those cases involve arson. Now, we have some pictures of the damage, uh, just showing you how severe the fires were. In fact, in North Carolina, the Creek Baptist Church, or Briar Creek Baptist Church, suffered $250,000 in damage. Now, of course, this happened after uh, Dylan Roof uh, brutally shot and killed nine individuals in a Bible study session. But what's incredible about this story is just the lack of media attention that it's getting, especially when you consider the fact that some of them might be involved in a hate crime. And it's very difficult to believe that all of these churches being set on fire is some sort of coincidence. Let me jump in here because I, I can't stand that we're having a conversation about whether it's a coincidence. Um, six happen after Dylan Roof does the shooting. This is something that uh, has a long history in the United States of burning down black churches. It's, it's not like it's a historical like, oh wow, that's weird. No, this is what uh, racists have done to black churches for a long time in this country, over and over again, and they've also bombed churches. Of course, the famous one in Birmingham that killed those four uh, innocent young girls, let alone injuring all the other people there. And they all happen at night. Three are clearly arson, the other three unclear, right? Um, gee, I, I wonder if they're all part of a coincidence, uh, mostly in the South and one in Ohio, uh, uh, that are all burning down black churches in the middle of the night. That's not a coincidence. It's not. I'm not saying that it, it's they're all coordinated by one particular group and they've sent out different squads to do these. But is it racist who are going to try to send a message to buttress what Dylan Roof did? Of course it is, right? And I'm shocked at the lack of coverage. I mean, you would think that the CNNs of the world that loves to sensationalize everything, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, plane missing, this, that. These black churches get attacked all in the middle of the night, right? And, and not a word. Also, what, what the hell is going on? The terminology used to describe these types of events are very different from the terminology that would u be used if, let's say, you know, let's say a Muslim person is burning down white churches, yeah. right? Or churches in general. I mean, terrorism, terrorists, that kind of terminology would be used. But in this case, you're not hearing that those kinds of words, right? And now, imagine if they suspected that black uh, people, like the a new Black Panther Party, was burning down white churches across the country. I'm, gee, I wonder if Fox News would cover that 24-7. I can't quite tell. White churches mysteriously burning to the ground uh, in the middle of the night, it, all in the span of a week, all after a black person had killed nine white people in a church. You think they wouldn't cover that? Of course they'd cover that. Wall-to-wall right? -wall coverage. Yeah, and look, there's another part of this that bothers me. And, and, uh, so the good folks at Briar uh, Creek uh, are, are great people. They want to talk about forgiveness again. And so I don't want to blame them, but I, I am mad about one thing. So quote Huffington Post here, Briar Creek pastor uh, Maddox Kinsey told a local news station he hopes the event turns out not to be a hate crime and the culprit's already forgiven, but he's worried about the climate. No, 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 no. I mean, you're a great person, Pastor Kinsey, and you can figure out, forgive him. I, we, he's not forgiven. It's not forgiven by everybody, okay? That's not how it works. And what I'm bothered by is we have a culture here where for so long uh, blacks in this country were taught no matter what crimes are done against you, what horrific crimes are done against you, forgive, forgive, forgive. That's what the church says, forgive, forgive, forgive. Well, isn't that convenient, right? But uh, do I hear Fox News talking about forgiveness when it comes to if, if, if black people are protesting or what they call rioting mm -hmm. in the streets, are they immediately like, oh, forgiveness in Baltimore. No, forgiveness in Baltimore. Of course not. There's right? a lot of demonization. Of right. People. But whenever there's crimes against black people, we have to immediately, including the judge in Dylan Roof's case, immediately start talking about forgiving them. No, no. Let's catch them. Let's bring them to justice. And after justice, we could then maybe begin a conversation about forgiving. And in the context I promised you earlier, since 1956, there have been at least 91 violent attacks on black churches. At least they don't count things that are in any way, shape, or form unclear. It has to be arson or a bomb attack, and it has to be from a hate group uh, for it to uh, count. Of course, and do they count it as terrorism? Not really. And by the way, if you're burning down people's churches in the middle of the night, what do you call it if you don't call it terrorism? To terrorize them so that they don't 
go to that church so that they don't get together, so that they are not one community. That's exactly what terrorism is. And it's happening in the, in the dark of night again. It's black people in this country and black churches in this country are being targeted again and hardly a peep out of our media.